I accidentally hit the stop button. Anyway, seat belt. Okay, safe start. Put on the brake. Make sure that the transmission is in neutral. And then I will safe start. Truck starts. Take my foot off the brake. And I'm going to basically let the truck build up air pressure. So I'll start with the mirrors and make sure both my mirrors clean and functional and adjusted to me. My windshield. Make sure it is not cracked, damaged, mounted securely, and no illegal stickers. At this time, I think since the truck's running, I'm going to check my defroster. Defroster, make sure my vents are blowing good up here. Make sure you're not blowing out here. Blowing down here. Defroster works. Check my wipers, washer fluid. Make sure that the wipers are pressed up against the windshield. Uh, not securely, but uh, evenly. That the rubber is not torn. I'll check the windshield washer fluid. Make sure the windshield washer works. Do that, push on that. Let them swipe, let them spray. Check. That flow there. Check out my dash, dash gauges here. Voltmeter would be here. Make sure that is properly charging the truck. Water temperature. I'm going to make sure the water temperature starts rising to the normal range. Applied brake pressure, not worried about. Air ride suspension, not worried about. Fuel. You see, we have over three quarters of a tank. There's my def gauge. Make sure we have at least an eighth of a tank. Oil pressure, that should start coming up. Uh, normal operator, operating range of 40, well, no, 30 to 60 PSI. Air pressure should start building. Normal pressure range is 120 to 140 or governor cutout. Let my air pressure build up. Um, also, I should try and get the uh, inspector to do the lights before I get in outside say hey can you check my my lights so i'll turn on my headlights do my high beams left turn right turn four ways hopefully they'll go to the back of the truck if not make sure i ask them uh same thing left right parking brake lights four ways they get in the truck and they're sitting in here and i can do the whole spiel also check the indicators on the dash left right four ways and my high beam indicator so once all that's done gauges are good defrost is good windshields good mirrors are good oh yeah my service horn city horn air horn make sure those are good and then it's time to do the leak test brake test make sure my pressure's up and built up my wheels are chalked <coughs> i will turn the truck off back into the on position release my brakes and i'll watch my pressure gauges and make sure i do not and, and ask the inspector if they can time me and let me know when one minute has elapsed I'm checking to make sure I don't have more than four PSI of leakage. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Let me back up. I'm going to do the applied test. So release my brakes. Step on the brake pedal. Push it all the way down. Ask the inspector to time me for one minute. And I'll check to make sure I don't have more than four PSI difference in that one minute. Once that's satisfied, satisfactory satisfactory i'll move on to the low pressure warning i will pump the brakes until the pressure warning sounds hopefully that'll be around 55 to 60 psi make that a mention to the inspector and then i'll do the emergency spring brake check by continuously pumping the brakes until both Trailer air supply and air brake, uh, parking brakes pop out. Once that happens, I go ahead and restart the truck. 
since they're both popped out, I'll go ahead and get out, remove my chalk block, and I'm ready to do the actual service brake test. So, with the service brake, oh yeah, don't forget your seatbelt. Always got to put your seatbelt on first thing. I'm not going to do it here. Bad habit. Service brake test. Uh, I'm sorry, the tug test. That's what I got to do next. Tug test. So, with the tug test, make sure my air pressure is built up. I'm going to test the trailer brakes first. So, with my air pressure built up, 120 to 140. Or governor cut out push in my parking brakes put it in drive and attempt to pull the truck and make sure that the trailer brakes hold once that's good pull out the parking brake do a tug test on the or engage the parking brake do a tug test on the tractor parking brakes Push in the trailer air supply, make sure my pressure's up to 120 and 140. Trailer supply in, put it in drive, and attempt to pull on the tractor parking brakes. Once those are good, I can re reapply the trailer brakes. Make sure my PSI's on my air pressure is up to 120 and 140. I'm gonna do the five mile per hour service check. In that check, I'm gonna make sure that the truck does not pull to one side. And it, it breaks function. Pull forward five miles per hour and apply the brakes. Hopefully it'll do its thing. And I think that concludes my in-cab inspection. I'll go back and review and see what I missed. Uh,